It's kind of an amazing day in history, actually. I mean, I agree with a lot of people that it's a sad day. Um, I, I don't want it to happen, but I agree with it, to be honest with you. December 18th, 2019 marks the day President Trump became the third president in U.S. history to be impeached by the House of Representatives. I think it's a hoax. It, the Democrats are trying to railroad uh, President Trump in, into something that he's not guilty of. Some Las Vegas locals support the impeachment. Others are strongly against it. I just don't think he's great for this country. I think it's going to be bad for the economy. The House impeached the president on two articles, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. We have a lot of facts that aren't being spoken and a lot of things that seem to be made up. My opinion about it is like there's a lot of inconsistencies in his story. Accountability is just a word that a lot of people just don't identify with, and I think he's one of them. I believe the impeachment started for valid reasons. It's too politically based. It's not about the country. It's about politics now. Now, the impeachment findings head to the Republican-controlled Senate. But he will not get impeached through the Senate. Hopefully, it will end, but it won't end. The Democrats will continue to whine and complain. A lot of people saw a lot of things wrong, but he still has enough supporters to kind of beat the system. I believe in the system that we live in and if he goes under that system and they find him guilty then he should be he should be impeached but if not if they, if they exonerate him then like I stand I stand on get out and vote on the next election but there is one point of view that Valley residents seem to agree on both parties need to work together and do what's best for the country not what's best for their party and what's best to get reelected well, there you have it from the perspective of Valley residents. And we always want to know what you think. If you'd like to join in on this conversation, you can head over to our News 3 Facebook page and weigh in. Jim? All right, Gabby, thank you. Next up.